today we are going to be having a look at your bronze dance badge, which is very exciting. So as many of you will know, our proficiency awards start from number eight and they work backwards. You go eight to one, and when you've finished one, we have plenty of other disciplines that we can have a look at, and they go bronze, silver, and gold. We've got fitness, we've got floor, we've got vault, but today we're going to be having a look at the bronze dance. The first activity on your bronze dance badge is the standing position. So nice and simple, you're going to put your heels together and have your toes slightly out in what we call the first position in dance. You're going to try and pull your legs up as much as you possibly can, so you're pulling, these are your quad muscles, and you're trying to pull them up towards your hip bones, so your legs are nice and straight. We want your feet to be nice and balanced so we don't have our weight over our toes or over our heels, they're just nice and in the middle. You're going to be growing up nice and tall so that your shoulders and your hips are in a straight line rather than being over here or back here like this. So we want to grow nice and tall. Imagine there's a string coming up the top of your head, you've probably heard this loads of times, all the way up to the ceiling so you're growing up through there. You're going to pull your shoulders back and press them down so you've got lovely posture and then your arm position is optional as long as everything else stays nice and still so you can have your arms down if you prefer or you can bring them just slightly in front of you if that feels more comfortable just remember to keep those shoulders back keep that head up that is your standing position the next activity is our dance feet position so we're going to look at five different positions of the feet your first position is the one we practiced already when we did our standing positions so you're going to put your heels together and have your toes turned down. Now what's really important for this one is that we don't screw our feet so far round that our knees aren't going in the same direction as our feet. So what you want to have is your feet only go as wide as you can with your knees go pointing in the same direction. So you can get someone to check for you if you're not sure, but make sure that your toes only go as far as you can. If you were to bend your knees for example, can you see that my knees are going in the same direction as my toes? What we don't want is if you go do this with your feet and you bend your knees and can you see now my knees are going forwards but my feet are going sideways. So only take them as far as you need. So your first position is heels together, toes going out. Your second position, you're going to take one leg out to the side and you're going to have your feet slightly apart. The same turn out again, so not too far round. We want your knees going directly over your toes. And in your second position, your feet should be roughly one and a half of your own feet apart. So what that means is if you're starting first, and if you measure roughly one foot there, and then another half a foot, that's about how far away your feet should be in your second. So it's not crazy wide going over here, it's not really narrow underneath yourself, it's just about one and a half of your own feet. This is your second position. Your third position, you're gonna bring your foot in in front of you, and your heel is going to be in the middle of your foot. So you can you see here, there's a difference. So there's by the top of my foot and the bottom, you're going roughly halfway, and that is where your heel is going to slot into. You've got the same turnout. If I bend my knees, you can see that my knees are still going over my toes, so I'm not going too far out like this. You do want them to be turned out though, so try not to have them facing forwards if you can. So this is your third position. Your fourth position, you're going to take this foot in front of you and you're going to have it just like your third, almost, but your leg is a little bit more across from you. And you're going to have your feet roughly one of your own feet apart. So what that means is if you come from your third, you measure it like that and then you have your foot there. So they're not really wide, they're just the same width as one foot. So this is your fourth position. Your feet are a little bit more crossed than in your third. Your last position is your fifth position, and that one you're going to bring your foot across, and it's just like your third, but a bit further over, so it's more in line with where your fourth was. Now in your fifth position, you want your heel to be roughly touching the ball of your foot. So you can see here are my toes, just there, and then the ball of my foot is this little bumpy bit that sticks out. That's the bit that your heel is going to be touching. So this is your fifth. And you can do that on both legs. So each of these positions, you can have your right leg in front or your left leg. Let's recap. You've got first, second, roughly one and a half feet apart, third, which is where your foot's in the middle, fourth, where your foot's in front of you, roughly one foot in front, and then fifth. And then on the other leg, you've got first, you've got second, third, fourth, and then fifth. And still trying to keep that lovely posture that we had at the beginning with our head up, our shoulders down, our back nice and straight. Your next 
position for your bronze dance badge is a body wave and this one's on your knees. So I'm going to show you how to do it first as a rough go and then we'll break it down. So you're going to start this way, you have your arms up, you go just like that. So what you do, you're going to start with your arms right up, you're going to curve your body and your arms come forwards and your hips are going to go slightly back from where they started. Then you're going to reverse and you're thinking of the wave coming from here, from your knees, all the way up to your hips, all the way through your body, and then your head and your arms are the last thing to finish. So you're going to curve forwards, and then you think knees, then think hips, then think back, all the way up. Your hips come a little bit in front of where they started, and then from there, you're going to reset into the start position. So it goes curve, arch, arms are doing a big circle, and finishing back with your arms up and a lovely stretch. Your next activity is your back bend on two knees. So this one's nice and simple. I'm going to show you facing the side so that you can see me properly. You have your arms right up and all you're going to do is you're going to lean back as far as you can, keeping your arms nice and straight and your head goes back with you. And what we would like to see is a nice open position here. So rather than your hips being this way, closed, we would like them to be pushed forwards and open, your head's going back. We're aiming to have your chest and your arms at least horizontal, so at least at this level. Now I'm sure a lot of you will have much bendier backs than me, so you can go a lot further. The further you can go, the better. What we would like to see for your skill to be able to pass it, is you're gonna start up, you're gonna go all the way back, you're gonna hold it there for a second and come back up, then you're gonna have a rest, and then you're gonna do us the same thing again to demonstrate that you can do it regularly and repetitively. So then after your rest, Go back again, and up you come. Your next activity is your step hops. Now in your step hops, we would like your free leg to be right up here, so you've got a nice bent leg. And if I turn to the side, you can see that my knee is level with my hip. So we want it to be right up like this, rather than drooping down. You would like the side of your foot to be right up by the side of your knee, and your underneath leg is going to be nice and straight. Your arms are optional, so you can choose whether you would like to do an opposition arm like this or whether you would like to have your hands on your hips, whatever you feel is best. As long as you have your shoulders back and down and your head looking up, because this is a dance badge, don't forget, so we want to perform. For your step hops, we need to see at least six in a row to be able to give you your mark. So it should look something like this. So you're going to have your shoulders back, you're going to have your head up, I'm going to put my arms on my hips here, and you're going to go step hop with a nice straight underneath leg, pointed toes, five, six, just like that. Your next activity is your run and cat leap. Now, a lot of you will have done a cat leap already on previous badges, but it looks something like this, with a nice change of leg. In order to do it for your dance badge, what we need is just a little run up and then the cat leap. We're looking for your body to be nice and high, so we're not crunching our shoulders forwards to meet our knee. We're keeping our chest up and bringing our knees towards our chest. We'd like your knees as high as possible up here, so definitely, definitely above your hip level, but really we want them to be right up there. And your arms are going to come right up there with nice straight arms and stretched fingers. So you're going to look something like this. You're going to do a couple of little steps in a run, and then swish them right up and do your cat leap. Once you've done that, you're going to take a little rest, and then you're going to try and show us two in a row. So it comes back a bit, you're going to go a little run, you're going to go up, one, two and keep those knees right up there the whole time try and keep that head up shoulders down and nice straight arms the next one is your spring points forwards now you can have your hands wherever you want i'm going to put mine on my hips out of the way you're going to start with your feet in a first position you're going to point one foot forward and bend your underneath leg now i don't have any weight on my toes so if at any point i wanted to lift my foot up it'd be nice and easy just think like you're dipping your toes in the water and not actually going all the way underneath. You're going to from there do a jump up as high as you can, two straight legs and swap to this position on the other foot. But You're then going to do the same thing back to where you started and remember you're still not putting any weight on here. Up, but up. You're going to try and do four of these in a row. So for the badge it's going to look like this. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to have a little rest, give yourself a shake and then you're going to show us the same thing again. So big point, nice straight back, one, two, three, four. And all the time remembering to keep your knees right over your toes so they're not knocking forwards. Try and keep this leg turned out and 
and we're not putting any weight on that foot. The next one is your sauté jumps in first, which basically just means jumping with your feet in a first position. So you're going to do a little demi plié to start, which means you're going to bend your knees, but only as far as you can with your heels still on the floor. You're going to keep that back up nice, nice and straight. When you're doing your demi plié, try not to let your hips go behind your feet like this. We want everything to stay in a nice straight line so you won't go as far as you think. We don't need anyone to be right down here. When you do your demi plié, you're then going to do a nice big jump up in the air. You're going to point your toes down towards the floor and try and straighten your legs. You can have your arms wherever you want. I'm going to put mine in front of me just so that they're out of the way. But remembering to keep that nice open shape with your head up. We need to see four of these jumps. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, and stop, have a little rest, and then repeat. One, two, three, four, and stop. Your next one is your passe balance. Well, those of you that do ballet or dance outside might know this one as a retiring. So you're going to start in fifth, you're going to stay on one leg, your back leg is going to be on the floor, and your front leg is going to lift so that your toes are just by your ankle and your knee is nice and turned out. From there, you're going to lift, 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 so your toes come to just underneath your knee. So my toes are going to be underneath the little cup of my knee just there. My leg is completely turned out. From there, you're going to hold it. One, two, three, and then you're going to lower down nice and slowly with control and finish in that fifth position that you started in. Then you're going to show us the same thing with the other leg in front. So your back leg stays where it is. Your front leg is going to come up to your toes. You're going to reach, reach, reach. Lifting right through your head, so think of that string coming up, hold it there, one, two, three, and then you're coming straight back down to where you finished, growing nice and tall, keep those shoulders back. Your next one is going to be an échappé, so I'll show you quickly what that looks like. It goes out and it comes back in. You're going to start with your feet in fifth, you're going to jump out, your arms are optional, but I like to take mine out to my arms in second position, which is, this is your second position arms. You're going to jump out so that your feet go into a second position. And what we're really looking for is nice straight legs and pointed toes in the air before you land in second. Then, when you close your legs, you're going to close with your other foot in front into your fifth. You're going to show us four of those in a row. So you're going straight legs and land two, three, four. And you're going to land in a nice demi plie and a big stretch to finish. The next activity is your marching, jogging, and skipping. So there are a few different bits here you have to do for the same tick. So your marching is nice and simple. You're going to lift your legs up nice and high, keeping your back straight. So I'll show you to the side. My back's not coming down to meet my legs. I'm keeping myself up. And we're going to swing our arms forwards and back. So you've got the opposite arm to your lifted leg. We've got nice pointed toes. Then you've got your jogging, which is just going from one foot to the other. We're going to kick our heels up towards our bottom, nice pointed toes, and again, making sure everything here stays nice and flat, so you're lifting up this way. And the final one is a kind of skip. It's not a skip like what you might think it is. You're going to lift up. The start of it is just like what you did with your jog, and then you're going to kick your leg out in front of you. So you're going there, 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 there. So from the side, that looks like one jog, and then a little kick, and then another jog, and then a little kick. So you're going behind you in front, behind you in front, behind you in front, and then once you get nice and good at it, you can do a little bit faster, you can put your hands wherever you would like to have them, whatever feels good to you, but it's going there, 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 there. The next activity is your knee lifts and kicks. Now you can have your arms anywhere that complements the movement. I'm going to put mine out to the side so they're out of the way and you can see what my legs are doing. The knee lift is just nice and simple. You're going to lift your knee up, trying to get it at least a level with your hip, but ideally higher. You're going to have a nice pointed toe going down to the floor. Your body stays upright. So the most important thing is that we don't crunch down like this so that our body comes towards our leg. We keep our body up, we keep our shoulders back and our heads up, and our knee lifts, just like that. The other one is your kicks, and it's the same idea. You're going to keep your head where it is, keep your body where it is. You're going to lift your leg, do a nice big kick and ideally trying to get it as high as your shoulder, but it's more, much more important to have your body straight than to get your leg right up there by crunching in like this. So your kicks, you're just going to go up like that. There you go. So, in to, in, for the exercise, what we have to do is we're going to do four knee lifts and four kicks. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to show you that to the side as well so you can see. My body's not going to move, just my legs are going to lift. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And every single time I've got nice pointed toes, my head is up, my legs are going to be nice and straight on the leg lift kicks, just not nice and bent on the other ones. The next activity is your jumping jacks and lunges. So your jumping jacks, you're going to jump two feet out, you're going to go through your feet. So rather than landing flat feet like this, you're going to go through your toes, through your balls and to land on your heels. Your arms are going to come up into a nice star shape. You're going to have your toes just slightly turning out, making sure again that your knees go over your toes, not rolling in. So to you do your jumping jacks, you're going to go like that. Nice and simple. For your lunges, you're going to jump, you're going to put one foot forward and one foot back. Your front leg is going to be bent and your back leg is going to be as straight as you can. It doesn't have to be completely locked, but just nice and straight rather than this bent leg we've got at the front. When we're at the front, we're trying to get our knees going directly over our toes. So we're not going out and we're not going in, we're just going straight forward with that leg. And then you're going to jump your feet back together, just like that. Again, your arms are optional, so you can choose what you'd like to do with them, but make sure they complement the movement. We've got to do two counts of eight of jumping jacks and lunges. Now you can be creative with the order that you want to put them in. I'm just gonna show you a nice simple set where I do four jumping jacks and four lunges. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll show you the same thing to the side. So you're gonna go one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's all there is to that one. Okay, our next one is our grapevine. So this is a nice, simple four steps, but it might be a bit tricky to pick up at first. Once you've got it, you've got it, it's going to be nice and simple, so don't worry. You're going to step out. I'm going to use my right leg, so that would be your left leg. You're going to step out to the side. Then you're going to step your other leg behind you. You're going to step the same first leg out to the side again and then close. You're going to do that twice in a row. So it goes out, behind, out, close. Then you're going to do two going back the other way. So it goes out, behind, out, close, out, behind, out, close. Now when we pick it up, we're going to do it a little bit faster and in the rhythm. So you've got that should take one count of eight. So it will be four counts for the first break line counts for the second Greek vine and then another one count of it to get back to where we started. Your arms are optional, you can be creative if you want, I'm going to put mine on my hips and every single time you do this you're going to be thinking about that lovely posture that we've been talking about growing right up through your spine with your eyes forward. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you've done that we're then going to do the same thing but instead of stepping that leg behind you, it's going to step in front of you. So it's exactly the same. So we'll do it slowly first. You're going to step to the side. You're going to step in front of you, to the side again, and close. Side, in front, side, and close. And then the same thing on the way back. So you're going to step side, in front, side, and close. Side, in front, side, and close. We'll speed that one up so you can see it in the rhythm. So this will make two counts of eight to get there and back. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So to get your badge, you need to show us both of those. You need to show the there and back with the foot behind you, stepping behind like this. And then you need to show us the there and back with your foot in front of you, stepping in front like that. activity because this badge is dance and aerobics. You're going to come into a front support position. You're allowed to have your hands a little bit wider than normal if you need to. So obviously normally a front support would be your hands shoulder width but if you need to you can bring your hands a bit wider than shoulder width and you're going to have your legs straddled out so they're apart. Then you're going to take a push up so you're going to lower down to the floor. You're going to switch over onto your elbow so your body shifts going to come back into that low shape and then press back up again. I'll show you that to the side. So what we want to see is your body is going to stay nice and flat when we do that front support. We're not going to come down like this with our body. We're going to 
So let's practice that one one more time and then we'll go on to the second routine. So routine number one. March, march, jumping jack, knee lift, knee lift. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. Routine number two goes like this. You're gonna put those hands on your hips for your lunge. You're gonna jump up, jump back in. Then we've got another jumping jack. Here we go. Then we're gonna do one knee lift this time and then a skip. So it's like the start of that jog and then kick that leg in front of you, okay? So we've got a lunge, a jumping jack, one knee lift and a skip. That is all gonna take the same amount of time as routine number one. So it's eight counts. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done guys. Once you've practiced them a few times and you're feeling completely happy with all the different skills that are in the routine, let's try it with some music. Super, well done everyone. 